Since the dawn of time, chicken has been man's favourite meat. Cavemen hunted dinosaurs, which evolved into the chicken. The sun god Ra in Egyptian civilization was a chicken. The evidence is everywhere. KFC, Nando's, Chicken Republic, Wing Zone, and many more strive to create the perfect chicken. But what if there's another way? Using the power of modern technology, I've set out to create the ultimate chicken, and it all starts with Minecraft. The chicken has been synonymous with Minecraft since its alpha edition. On the surface, it may seem a simple animal, simple lifestyle, simple needs. But upon further research, I found that a chicken's happiness relies on more than just a supply of seeds. For years, humans have made the best attempt to be efficient in chicken farming, not realising that this efficiency is at the detriment of a chicken's happiness. You only have to watch the documentary Chicken Run to see that. My hypothesis is that chicken happiness is directly correlated with taste, as you can see from this very detailed graph. Therefore, I'll need to figure out how to make my chicken's lives as fulfilled as possible. However, efficiency will still be a key factor if I want to distribute my chicken to the wider market. So the way I make my chickens happy will have to be an accelerated process. So without further ado, let's analyse what makes this chicken tick. My first course of action would be to refer you back to Chicken Run. If we think about the overarching message of Chicken Run, what do we see? That's right, chickens are inherently thrill-seekers. Ginger suspends herself from the back of a moving plane, Mel Gibson does a sweet jump on his tricycle, and so on and so on. There are many ways to induce adrenaline. I first tried to set up a bungee jump scheme, but it turns out these chickens fall extremely slowly. Then it hit me, where do all adrenaline junkies go for a day out? The theme park. And what do they have at theme parks? Roller coasters. So the idea was set. The chickens would be born out of a dispenser and immediately pushed into a minecart by this water, then taking them on an incredible roller coaster. But like in Roller Coaster Tycoon, I had to tick several boxes. The roller coaster needs to scare the chickens enough to start the release of adrenaline from their adrenal glands, hence the use of the huge drop and a spiral section. However, scare the chickens too much and I risk putting them into cardiac arrest, so loop de loops are out of bounds. So, after adding a couple of small jumps, I decided this was enough, and we move on to the next phase, which will be relaxation. You might not think it due to the nature of a chicken's tiny head, but the stresses of life take their toll on each and every one of us, particularly after riding on a ridiculous roller coaster. As a result, the roller coaster will end by entering a traditional Finnish sauna that indicates the start of an exclusive fast track spa experience. The chickens are taken by a lazy river through a steam room, then plunge pool, followed by a hot tub. After that, it's a heavy handed massage from an iron golem, which not only loses loosens the chickens up for the rest of the journey, but also tenderizes the meat for later on. But hold on. At this point, I felt as if I was losing my way slightly. Sure, I'd given my chickens experiences they were never going to forget, mostly because they'd be dead in a few minutes, but I just wasn't sure if I catered fully to their needs. So after a short guided walk in the woods, I took it upon myself to search it up on Google, and I discovered the thing that chickens love is fruit and vegetables. This was it. I would supply the chickens with a full buffet of all their favourite fruits and vegetables, like a sort of last meal if you will. So, with my new plan in mind, I started to build farm after farm. Carrots, potatoes, berries, beetroot, cake. The only problem being, if I want to eventually automate this process, I can't be doing all this by myself. I've got corporate business meetings to go to. But where could I amass a workforce? Hmm. Right, which one of you wants to be a farmer? So after recruiting some very willing workers that definitely aren't slaves, I could then get to preparing a meal and fine dining experience. And let me tell you, the night was spectacular, the chickens enjoyed it so much. It's just an experience that, you know, me and the chickens will never forget and ding ding ding, there we have it, the happiness levels are fully capped, so it's into the incinerator for you. After the chickens had been cooked, it was time to prepare it by breading it on the outside and seasoning it. This would mean I'd need a wheat farm, but where could I amass a workforce to... After employing more workers, I had a wheat farm up and running. All that was left to do was combine these perfect and lovingly made ingredients together. And there we have it, the holy grail of the chicken world. Just look at it, take in all its glory. So, I suppose I should give it a try, really. Um, okay, here goes. Okay, um... Mmm! Oh, it's kind of... Hmm. Mmm, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa